Welcome to the NYSE Big Startup, a show about unlocking potential brought to you by NYSE and hosted by me, Guy Kawasaki. As we were looking around there, there was another dead tree business out yeah. there. Uh, it was actually sitting underneath my monitor, the, the Yellow Pages book had propped it up a few inches. Literally. And, yeah. And we thought, you know what, that industry really hasn't been disrupted by the internet. And we realized that word of mouth is the best way to find local businesses. That's how we all want to, to search and find a new, a new service in our area. And so if we could just build a service that would capture that word of mouth and bring it online, that would be revolutionary. And so it was that simple idea that then led to the birth of the site. Did you notice that people are willing to actually invest time to rate? Well, that's the thing is in, in, at the very beginning, we really did think about it as capturing word of mouth because we didn't think people would write right. any of this content, but buried in there, literally it was a throwaway afterthought feature was a way to start writing your own reviews. You could just sit there and you know, start churning them out, talking about whatever you wanted. And some people would discover this feature and they'd write five or 10 or 15 reviews just in one sitting. And that was, that was an aha moment when we saw that in the data that there are just people that are sharing voluntarily for fun. So what were some of the challenges that you faced? The number one challenge I would say is going from the idea phase to actually having a site that people would use that wasn't my friends, my family, my mom. <laughs> yeah. So once it was beyond mom, yeah. that was really a, a moment of, aha, I think, I think we've got something going here. Okay. Yeah. How do you find talent these days? How do you recruit talent? I mean, it's not all just about the financial opportunity. It's mm -hmm. also about, you know, what are the interesting challenges that you have for employees? How are they going to learn? How are they going to grow? And also, who are the colleagues that you've brought onto the team? And so there is a magnetic effect. Is if you have really good people, that attracts really good people. They come in, they interview, they have these conversations. They're like, wow, I'm not going to be the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> but maybe over time, I could become the smartest guy in the room, and that's worth it. I'm going to join. And now, NYSC, publicly traded? Yeah. Life uh, is good? Several months ago, took the company public. It was uh, definitely one of the pinnacles of, of my career. Yeah to be up there on the balcony, you know, pushing the red button. <laughs> my brother was there, my mom was there. It was a very special moment. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And how has the stock done in that, what, four months you said? It's performed well. Yeah? Yeah. We've been uh, very pleased. It was, it was a great IPO, I think. Uh, everybody wins in that situation. Yeah, Investors awesome. were happy and employees were excited. And you're familiar with the NYSC Big Startup Program, so what do you think, how could it help other entrepreneurs? I mean, I think it's a great opportunity for entrepreneurs that are earlier, in, you know, mm -hmm. just starting out to get great advice um, and to learn how they can grow their business and, and be in touch with you know, other folks that have done it before. And so I think it's great that NYSC is taking a, a leadership position and getting out there trying to help, you know, Main Street businesses. What, what's the single biggest tip you have for an entrepreneur? I think it's you've got to be flexible. Um, you know, the one place that I've seen a lot of startups fail or, or, you know, go down is that the entrepreneur had a specific idea, tried it out, and it didn't quite work. It didn't mm -hmm. fit the market. But almost every successful company that I know of in Silicon Valley and even beyond, whenever I talk to the entrepreneur, they have a story like mine where it's, we thought we were going to do this, right. and then we saw an opportunity over here, and we took a right turn at the 11th hour, and it worked <laughs> out. And so you have to be looking for that when you get started. There's so much excitement and, you know, when you come up with a new idea and you start to pursue it. But you can't put the blindfolders on. You have to keep, keep your eyes open. Okay, great. And make sure that, that you identify those opportunities. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> very enchanting Thank you. interview. That Thank was you. fun. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for watching the NYSE Big Startup. 